Good morning, everybody, and thank you for spending some time with me this morning. And um, I'm excited to do the motivations this week again. And yes, it's crazy times we're living in. But uh, I want to encourage you and ask you to just stay with us and let's go through this together. I heard other pastor say in the week that you know, we must always remember we are not busy with a sprint, but we are busy with a marathon. So no matter what happens, even if we, if this lockdown continues for a little while more, that's fine with us because the church has never closed. I believe this is the time for the church to stand up and uh, be recognized for serving the living God. And yes, I know there are so many people that are being affected by COVID-19. And I personally know a lot of people who tested positive. But I know for sure, and, and I know this is on Pastor Quibus's heart as well, is that we have the spiritual breakthrough at this time. So I want to encourage you to keep on fasting with us, those that are doing the fast with us. If you have not, I want to encourage you to join us and just fast something. And remember, fast is not uh, striking or not eating. It's all about prayer. So really take the time and pray, especially... Let's pray for those that are sick, that are affected by this virus. And we trust God that even though we get sick, even though we get tested positive, I mean, the word never said we will never not get any disease in this world. But we know for a fact that we can get through this. They are friends of mine, and I'm sure a lot of them can't wait for the time where we come together and they can testify themselves about what happened. People that were close to death, or people that have suffered a lot through this virus but have made it they have won and they are with us still today and we are excited to have them with us and i believe the lord will not let one go so remember this time it's a time of covering it's a time for staying together and um, if your home cell is not yet together or your home church is not yet together just stay committed just stay committed. Uh, if you go and visit somebody, just remember, stand together, pray together. And yes, let's really intercede for each other in this time. The whole thing makes me think of the story of Esther, who was living in a crazy time. And if you know the story of Esther, she was a Jew that was married to a king. And she was, uh, the king had all these ladies together and they prepared them all for him. And he chose her and to get married to her, to make her queen. And her uncle, uncle Mordecai told her that the Jews, they, they, there was this one bad guy, Haman, I think was his name. But you can go read it. The whole story of Esther, it's such an amazing story. But what I want to come to is the part where he told her that you have to go and intercede for your people. You have to go. You were born for a time like this. And I believe we as the church, as the body of Christ, are born for a time like this. And another scripture that comes to mind that I want to share with you is 1 Timothy, uh, 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. And I think most of us know this verse and it says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love and self-discipline. And I really believe that self-discipline now is a time to listen, to listen to what is going on around us and be obedient. If they tell us to keep a social distance, Let's do it, even if it's just for a little while. Let's stick together. Let's help the government come through this. And uh, as the one pastor said, he was actually um, speaking to the president. And um, he said, one thing he knows for sure now, and, and he, I could see how positive he is, is that he knows that the government is not against the churches. But the churches, uh, they need the church to help them just so we can get control of this pandemic. So let's do our part. Let's really help. And I believe the best that we can do as the body of Christ is to pray and to intercede. So let's really, this week, while we're fasting, while we're praying, if you get the opportunity, just, just pray for what's on your heart. And I'm sure the Holy Spirit will lead you as we all stand together, join hands and intercede for our country, intercede for our government, intercede for our president, and most of all, intercede for our congregation intercede for our brothers and sisters, those around us, and maybe even for those that are affected. And maybe you know of somebody who's got a family member that is affected by this. 
So let's really stand together and intercede and speak to your brothers and sisters. Ask somebody around you to, if, if they tell you that someone is sick, ask them if you can pray for that person and let us know so we can pray with you. And let's really intercede and push through. And we pray that every person that's, that's in hospital or that's being ill with caught with this virus, and we pray for them and we intercede. Imagine when we come together again in the house of the Lord, maybe in a big church having a celebration, and we get the opportunity to witness about what's, what happened now. And I would love it so much if those people that were really hard hit could come to the front and just tell us what they experienced and how they went through this, because I believe that that must have been uh, life-changing. And then I just want to end off this scripture this morning and leave you with this. And it says, what shall we say about such wonderful things as, as these? And it's Romans 8, verse 31. And it says, if God is for us, who can ever be against us? So let's really trust on the word. Let's stand on the word of God. Let's, let's be a vessel that, the God, that God can use in a time like this. Let's be the vessel. Let's be the person. Let's be the lighthouse for others to come to us. And we can tell them, doesn't matter what happened. If God is for us, Nothing can be against us. Let's pray together. Thank you, Lord, that this morning I can pray for my brothers and sisters. And Lord, thank you that we can know in our hearts we do not need to have fear. We do not bow before fear, Lord, but we stand up, Lord. And you've said in your word, Lord, that we are, not, we are in this world, but we are not from this world, Lord. And we know that being in this world, we are affected by what is happening in this world. Lord, but this morning we come in the spirit and we intercede for those that are sick, Lord, those that are, that are being affected by this virus, Lord. And we pray, Lord, that you will keep them strong, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you will just, just give them strength to fight off this virus, Lord. And thank you that you have shown us time after time that you will bring us the victory in this battle, Lord. And thank you, Lord, that we can pray for our country. And Lord, I just want to pray for every brother and sister that's that's praying with me now, Lord, that you would just lay some, something to pray for this week on their hearts and let them intercede with us for each other, Lord. And we just thank you, Lord, that it doesn't matter what's happening around us, that we can always see the goodness of God. And let us come together and testify about how awesome you are, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you that you are, you are just saving everybody, Lord. And I pray that we as well, We'll keep our eyes open for those that are in need of you, Lord. There are so many that are hurting, and let us reach out for them, Lord. Thank you that you are, you are our strength, Lord, and we are positive with the thought of you, Lord, and nothing in this world can break it down. Nothing in this world can steal that from us, Lord, and we give you all the honor, all the glory, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you again on Wednesday morning and I'm really looking forward to it. And remember, if you're fasting, pray with us. Don't just fast, you must pray. And yes, if you need us to pray with you for something, please contact your pastor or your cell leader and uh, let's stand together in this time and intercede for each other and take this victory together. I thank you and enjoy your day. Bye-bye.